Good afternoon, folks. Uh, hope you have a lovely weekend. I certainly am, but it's about to go uh, from good to awful right now. Uh, those of you who follow my two hours of hell will know that when I fail a two hours of hell, I have to do a punishment game. And I went through Dungeon Keeper. To be honest, it wasn't much punishment. I was uh, quite grateful to Aristocrat for choosing it. You see, uh, subscribers can choose punishment games. They get thrown into a list, and I pick one out at semi-random. I say semi-random because I pick out ones that uh, are maybe like ridiculously long or not fitting for it. So what I did was I took the ones that were left, scrambled them up, and put them into random.org. Seemed like a good website for it. Uh, and sure, there was some garbage games in it, but I thought, yeah, there are some games in there that I should quite look forward to playing if they come out. You know, I might not like Long Live the Queen, but it shouldn't be too bad. Majesty, Hotline Miami. I randomised them, and Cat Mario came out as number one. And all I can say is... Ugh. I don't know this game very well. But I do know that it's awful. Let's just get this over with, shall we? I'm hurting already. So this is Cat Mario, and as best as I can tell, it's some... really crap Korean-made rip-off Mario. Where nothing is really as it seems. I can't even control it with my controller, but to use a keyboard and Yeah, so we're I think there's going to be a lot of that. Whereas Dungeon Keeper was a pleasure to play this one really I want this to be over already. So this game was... Oh yeah, that. You know, I, I really should name and shame him. Hold on. I wonder how long this game is, and whether I'll be able to complete it within uh, any reasonable time frame. I think it's more like a puzzle game that you have to remember everything that's going to kill you and avoid them. So if I jump early, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, everything appears to be a trap. Traps that I will keep forgetting like that. Okay. Minus four lives. It reminds me of um, some videos I used to watch. I think it was called Mario. Whoa! Stroke of luck. Mario Hard Relay, I think it was called. Oh yeah, your your cat Mario handles like arse as well. So everything about this is fairly unenjoyable. Well, very unenjoyable. That was close. All right, so I can't go down that pit. So let's just take it easy. 
consistency. Want to kill me. All right, so oh, of course. All right, let's try. It's loading something else on my screen. Let's just get rid of you. And... I don't understand Korean, so go away. So these are obviously based off the original Mario levels, so I know that if this were Mario, I would just walk right into that pipe and uh, everything would be fine. I'm sure that's going to kill me if I do. Breach reminds me, it's supposed to be unenjoyable, Jake. It's a punishment game. Well, you're right there. Hmm. Uh, okay. Maybe it wants us to go... Hmm, okay, so poisonous mushroom, we want to avoid that, but otherwise I think it wants us to go down the pipe. something good for us. Uh, well, we, we got fairly uh, fairly ripped from it. But I, I'm not having any of that. <laughs> I'll give this game one thing, it's fairly creative. Okay, right. If anybody ever played the original Marys, they would know if you just want to ignore a level, you just go up here. It seems the game wants us to do that as well. Uh, no, no it does not. Because why would anything be easy? So let's stay the heck away from that thing. I really do feel like I'm getting punished here. Alright, so let's do the ignore everything strategy. That's working alright. Really does remind me of Mario Hard Relay. Okay. Ignore everything strategy 2.0, but this time, you won't be fooled. What the? Okay. Whoa. Hey, guy, you go down there. Oh. He had a friend. Quite a lot of people uh, wrongly believing that this is the best game ever. All right. At least we can jump off of it, but this time. Okay, so there's no end to it. Maybe I can just jump over the whole thing. At the very least, there are checkpoints, so you can fairly quickly get back to wherever you are. Super Meat Boy style. Oh, that guy, yeah. Hmm. 
I can't wait to see the death count at the end of this game. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's new. Oh, it's like an art getting around these. Alright, full jump. No, no, that doesn't work. Can I hang out under the guy? Can we hide here? Alright, checkpoint. Okay, easy does it. Or balls to walls. I prefer balls to walls. Ah, uh, still, I think we're onto something here. No, no, we're not. But if I can just, I can just be a bit faster, a bit more agile, then this roof trap will have nothing on me. Yeah. Okay, that can't be bad. No. Of course it's bad, but maybe you'll kill that uh, king guy. Go, do my bidding. No, he's he's immune to it. In fact, he seems to get squished under it. Well, let's get rid of the star guy there. Kickle Cubicle thought they were an app puzzle game. Well, step aside. Well, that might do it, though. Yes! Can't, Can't be beat. I wonder if this game has its own kind of minus world. Alright, I don't like the look of that one bit, so if we can just ignore it. I don't like the look of those either. The, uh, the ending bit in the first level tried to shoot those at me, so... No. <laughs> Nothing wants you to live here. Okay. I think we have all the tools we need now to succeed. I wonder what happens if these two things combine. Nothing, but, uh, but now what? I don't seem to have much influence. Or at least much influence that I can really use. I don't know how to use this. Maybe I just need to hit the mushroom as soon as I can. Good. It's, it's clearly the secret. Alright, now what do you do? Oh well, yeah, you don't make things easier. not get that question mark then. <laughs> the key to doing well in this game seems to be to not touch anything ever. Amen to that. Don't think a coin seems to do anything either. Or is it going to say, pull the same garbage that uh, the impossible quiz did where it says, uh, this is the easiest level, just use all the cheat tokens that you picked up along the way. That was great though, I managed to complete uh, both of those. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer than usual, and then we'll have this out. The Impossible Quiz. Did many people play that? I thought it was great fun. 
Okay, that works just as well. And we are pretty safe. One, one, one. Now what in the world? What happens if I jump on the first ones? Bad things happen, I'm sure. Mm, nothing bad. That can't be right. Now I don't want to land on those because they just fall away. Alright, minus world, come on. Astonishing. Will you stay away? Two down, four to go. We're on a roll. Well, 30 loans for that guy who uh, pays attention how many times I die. Whoa. Almost. Let's just ignore it. <laughs> it never gets old, that trick. Uh, I wonder if the original Mario ever used that. I don't think it did. The whole... Right ideas. Jake, for how much hours have you been streaming? And the title says you're playing DDR. Well, there wasn't an intro for, uh, there wasn't a title for uh, Cat Mario. And I'll be playing DDR after this, so I figure we'll just go DDR. And you're right, there is no timer. Let's change that. At least then people get a feel for how long I've been streaming. Alright, maybe the key is that I have to take that. You stay away. Hey. Oh, you bounced off this. So I think that question mark brought this thing down. So you, uh, you got no option. You got to go for it. All right, let's go. What? Another lesson learned. Don't step on the third yellow uh, platform. Jake, this is ten times more fun than Quill Stream. What's Quill Streaming? I met Quill in Cologne. Nice enough guy. Okay. Process of elimination. We will Pipe that doesn't kill me. No. No, it kills me. Thanks, game. Eh? Uh, I 
guess we lost our uh, our checkpoint by going down the pipe. Okay, I can deal with that, I suppose. Oh yeah. Painful. All right, we can get this level done within the 50 lives. I can feel it. Too easy. So whatever we do, we do not go down that pipe. Anything else. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop jumping across any pit. What a rotter. Let me spring up. Oh. <sighs> Alright, so just ignore everything the game gives us. God knows who that guy is. But if I can jump on him, I get a feeling that I want to be on those blocks below me. The game is not that happy. Yeah! I figure I want to go on those blocks below. Hmm, that's another way about it, I guess. I wonder if bankruptcy strats are viable if you give all your loan money to a vassal. Maybe they'll do something useful with it. I wouldn't count on that. Best case scenario is they would build a lot of buildings for you. Okay, this is good. Okay. What can I even do about him? Maybe I need to use this to kill him. But that wouldn't work. There's a block there would stop it. Well, I'll have to make it work. Just as planned. I got it. No, I don't. Hmm. Maybe I can fake out. Yeah, that's got to be it. I need to fake out those bars somehow. Something that can surely be done in one shot.
bit more. Mm. I just run past those. No, certainly not. Because why would anything be easy? Ah, uh, but we lost it anyway. Right, maybe we can just jump over this. No. Uh, but I'm uh, certain we're on the right track there. I didn't just screw up jumping on the uh, jumping on the half shell. This isn't painful at all. <laughs> oh. Kinda tells me that this guy is redundant. Oh. Maybe not a killing me. We are out of here. So yeah, I knew I'd do it within seven day lives. Ah. Things I don't know what level that was meant to be. Ah. Oh. Alright, well, it's kind enough to show you what that enemy will do. Alright, so I just ignore you, like I ignore everything. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Something gets turned off. Right, this isn't going to be good, is it? No, no, no! Oh dear. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it can kill me. By squeezing me into the... Uh... Oh. Uh, I was thinking the game's being too kind giving me that little ledge to land on, but no, this game is never kind. It's just kind of cool. Jake, can you lower the music? Yeah, it does seem a bit loud. Let's get that quite a bit further down. I think I want to turn that thing. Yeah, miracles. There's going to be one process of using these switches that's uh, the correct way to do it, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe I need to hit all of them. So yeah, we 
turn you on and then we can turn you off at the next switch. Expert timing. We're long but not long enough and now... Yeah! We're saved! Checkpoint, thanks. <laughs> Just as well there was a checkpoint, because I didn't want to do all that again. Right, I can see it now. I bet that thing will go away if I land on it, but I can use that guy to jump around. These things kill me, don't they? Yeah. Okay, alternative, what happens if we go over it all? <clears throat> you didn't see that. This game looks like Kazo Mario on easy mode. Perfect for Jake. Why, thank you, Alicious. Alright, so... Ah... Uh, what? <laughs> right. It all becomes clear to me now. Bring it on. Okay, so I need to be a bit faster than that. I think I need to land on that yellow thing. It'll fall down, but I can jump up fast enough to get around the, the fireballs. And that's why we never landed down there. Maybe it's actually easier just to go this way. This game. <laughs> All right, take two hundred. Can't get mad. Just got to get good. It all becomes clear. Dies instantly. Well, it's a small mercy that I can stand here and not die. Alright. Mm. No, I really... I gotta just go for it, it seems. Alright. This time, I'm the winner. Oh, okay. All right, we got this. We know all their moves now. Oh, hold on, I went here too quick. We know all their moves now. Can't be beaten. Can't.
mushroom thing is going to be important somehow. So let's actually have it thrown towards us here. No, no, it's just there to kill us no matter what. I was thinking that might be a bridge with Bowser at the end. The only way to destroy Bowser would be to have the poisonous mushroom hit him. Clearly my mind is too advanced for this game. So we just ignore all of this. The ceiling comes down at some point where I can't remember. Heh. <laughs> Too good. Alright, what now, game? I have bested your best. I don't think I want to go down this. Well, needs must. <sighs> Here we go again. At least we're out of here. Some fresh air. Alright, I fancy a whole ignore everything jump. Wow, okay, that's all there was to it. Two more to go. And uh, then I never have to listen to Fehe ever again. Bottomless pits give me the heebie-jeebies like nothing on earth. This, this level seems a bit too forgiving. What is going on? Hmm, okay. Take a hike. On the space elevator. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything too bad so far. Pipe, maybe? Can't go down it. Hmm. Could it be that's all there was to it? Maybe this level is kind of, uh... Alright, well, let's just complete the level. Madness. Hmm, too simple game. You think I'd fall for that? The old falling roof trick? to basics for me, I suppose. Alright, I'll play you at your own game then, game. I was getting too hesitant on those pits, thinking there would be one of those jump into a block and it sends you down the pit routines. Maybe the game's just trying to play fair with me now. It just says, get good, scrub. No more tricks, just get good. This feels more like a Meat Boy level than anything else now. Part of the reason why I'm not jumping too high, just in case there are any of those wee blocks. But it's kind of working against me. I need to go more gung ho here, rather than dying to all the uh, all the scrub monsters. Not even sure what they're meant to be. Just 
like little dough balls to me. Alright, life 99. Sounds lucky. Let's go. Maybe your trick is the slow and steady wins the race. Ah, but I hate going slow. I mean, it worked fairly well, but... Well, we'll see. Come on, life 101, I got a good... Come on, life 102, I got a good feeling about you. I wonder if I've lost this many lives in all my playthroughs of the original Marios. Yeah! Can't be beaten. What is it now? Come on, it wouldn't end it there. What have you got for me? Don't want to go too far. Let's just finish this. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was... almost too easy. What does this say? I can't read that. It's all in Laotian. Yeah, that was Cat Mario. Too easy, if you ask me. But thank you, Feki, for uh, listing that as one of the punishment games. I'll probably play a different punishment game tomorrow, and after that I'll be three for three, and I can resume doing two hours of hell. As for me right now, I'm going to set up the, uh, the DDR room, and I'll be back in between 10 and 20 minutes with some DDR. Um, so, yeah. Find yourself productive. To, uh, find yourself something productive to do. I will be back shortly.